There are many things that are satisfying, but if I were to single one out is the recognition that we're working in a good direction and producing something that others recognize as valuable. Like, there's nothing more satisfying to a professor, I would say, than to produce something that others adopt, others follow, others expand on. And so I think that producing something that gets that start and helps people learn and become better, um, that's kind of fulfillment of, of your life choice. And so it's, it's very satisfying. I think there's something about negotiation cases that it's helpful if they're not too long um, because people have to enact them and not just uh, play the knowledge part of it. So that case is very good for an early aspect of a negotiation course and so it's very helpful to have it short so that the students get comfortable in building one or two specific skills only at first and then you build the complexity of a course. Um, would I recommend that people use maybe shorter cases early in the course, even other business cases? Yes. I think it helps students focus. Uh, as I was a business student myself, I remember starting a course already with pages of 8, 12, 15 cases and attachments, and it was very overwhelming at first. I think that once the complexity builds up in a course, then such cases will be, are, or will be, you know, they are very powerful, and yet maybe earlier on in the course, having a smaller case can help people focus and learn better. I think it's more of a commitment of INSEAD to, to diversity. Like we want to talk about the whole world. We want to talk about different industries and different possibilities. We want to talk about environmental and social aspects. So I think that case in a way it's, um, is a disguised version of a real case and try to incorporate all of those aspects in true to our mission as INSEAD to be the business school for the world. As a negotiator uh, that teaches win-win negotiation and collaboration, I would say definitely yes to that one. Um, it's very enriching. Uh, I was not at the time an expert in uh, pharmaceuticals. Since then, I've learned quite a bit. So having a couple of people who were really uh, having Klaus and Carlos as co collaborators there on the pharmaceutical side was extremely v valuable to make it very concise, tight, and yet to be proper and correct for the pharmaceutical industry. Having Nuno and Rodrigo on the negotiation aspects, reviewing if that one condensed page was powerful to communicate the, the core negotiation issues was always a good double check and reality check at times, making sure that we're putting everything we needed in that small case. I would say yes. You know how far the case can go or not go as you thought through the different numbers and what you're going to have in the case and what you're not going to have. In your mind, actually, you don't only have a page case. You have many pages of cases in your mind. So it really allows you to flow from one side to the other with a lot of comfort. Um, that's what I try to incorporate in the teaching notes. So as one can see, whereas the Oxypoco case is only one page for each side of the role play, the teaching note is over 20 pages long. Uh, which might seem like an overkill, but it's exactly to give a professor that feeling of freedom and that feeling of being able to navigate the case from different angles and pretty much take whatever question comes from the students and knowledgeably link with the teaching points and really make it a fulfilling class to the students and to the professor as well.